you remember this thing? This is the power wall that I am building to take it to a cache that is coming up here in Kansas. This is a very special car show here in Kansas that happens once a year. They are expecting me to be there, so I will be taking this power wall over there. Today we are going to do an update on this power wall. This is where my uh, solar panels will be connected, that they are going to charge the batteries. Actually, the system is being built and integrated in here that will charge the batteries. This one is mainly for lead acid batteries, but today I have something better for you guys. Let us take a look and do an update on this thing. Let's take a look. The solar will come in here and charge the batteries here. Here guys, here I have something very, very special for you guys. Let's take a look. Let me see if I can figure out how to open this thing. I have this thing here. I have this thing here that will replace this big thing here. I have made a research on YouTube and I've seen that so many people are using this and it's actually so much better. This one is putting out like 4 amps and it's really slow. It was not designed for lithium batteries so we are going to get rid of this thing we are going to take it away let us do it this one is the special one that we will be updating our system with so with this one is very simple and it's very very simple to connect you can see it there's a sign here as you can see with the solar panels which the positive and the negative that's coming from the solar panels will go in here and the ones going from your battery will go in here. Let's do it. First thing we have to do is to get rid of this dirty thing here. We don't need this one. So this one, we don't need it anymore. Let's put on the new one. Okay guys, as I was telling you, this this is a cable that comes from my solar panels. As you see, there's a sign here which show, show the panels. The positive, the red one will go into the positive and the black one will go into the negative. Here is the battery side of it. The two cables that will leave here, which is the positive and the negative, will leave here and goes directly to the positive terminal and the, the negative terminal of our battery back. So guys, these are the solar panels that I'm going to use for these demonstration purposes. I've just put them here and they're giving out about 22 volts or 21. So I just took the wire straight into the door and uh, leave it inside. So it's so hot outside, I can afford to work out here. So let's go in and check out how our solar control charger controller is doing so guys for what i understand on this thing right now this is the voltage that i'm getting from solar panels remember my solar panels just a little set that i got from my neighbor just for demonstration purposes so it is really small and the sun outside is really low right now so i'm getting 11 volt uh, 11 to 12 volts from the solar panels outside the second one is the stage the number on the second one is the stage of my battery that's 12.15 volts at this time that my battery is uh, the second one is the amperage in which my battery is being charged right now depending on the voltage that's receiving from the solar panels so the third one for now I haven't actually understand how it works but the this one the number the amp hours right here for what I understand is in the past three hours five minutes my this controller has charged put in this amount of amp hours into my battery pack that is how i understand how this thing works so 
The number up here is the voltage that I'm receiving from my solar panels. The second number is the voltage that my battery, my state of battery right now. And the second, the third one is the, the rate in which my battery is being charged. This morning it was, it was charging up to five amps. But right now it's just one. The, third, the, the last one here, I don't really understand, but a bigger number here is, is saying that in three hours, five minutes, my this, this charger has put in this amount of amp hours into my battery. That is how I understand. If any of you know this thing better, please let me know. Thank you very much. Hello guys, instead of a TV or a light bulb, anything what can this thing power I have my grinder here so it is electric and we are going to test to see if this thing can power if our power wall can power this grinder right now so let's take a look on it let's put it on here and turn it on so I'm not going to cut anything right now because I don't have any protection here and uh, more to that this is just for demonstration purposes on my door and I'm just going to show you that this thing can, this power wall can actually power our grinder and you can use it anywhere you go. Look at that guy. You can see even here it is working. So you can use this power wall to power anything you want. And remember this is just a 12 volt and if you want to power something bigger, you just need to change your inverter and upgrade it to a bigger one, guys. Look, this thing's a, uh, guys, this thing works. Come on. Okay. Guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up on this video and thanks for it. Look forward to see my other updates on my MG Midget and uh, on our power wall coming up soon. Please give me some thumbs up on this video if you think that they may inspire someone somewhere around the world. Thank you very much guys. Thank you.